higher, faster. We're going faster and faster. I know! Isn't it cool? <laughs> no, it isn't. The faster we go, the more fuel we consume and the more it costs. And? And if you continue, I shall be obliged to cut back on food expenditure, which means no more meat or chew bones from the cafeteria. <laughs> I'll stop. Delighted to hear it. Commander, your mother's on the ship. What? Mother? Is it such a disaster, Commander? Okay. My mother's very nice. Great. I, I mean, she's a little too nice. Ah. <laughs> My sweetie boy, you drive way too fast, you know. I told him that. You're quite right, sir. My little cherub's a frisky little puppy. Always has been. Oh! Ew. Oh, uh, why exactly are you here, Mom? I just wanted to give my chubby cherub a coochie coochie kiss. <laughs> Please don't call me cherub in front of my crew, Mommy. I'm sure they're fine with it. They must be so proud to be on board a ship with a great space explorer like you. <laughs> <laughs> When my cherub was tiny, he was too scared to go out into the garden because of the wasps. And now he visits whole galaxies. Isn't he a wonderful man, my dear? Uh, yes, Mom, he is. It's such a shame he hasn't yet found a nice girlfriend for himself. <clears throat> ah, I almost forgot. I brought you cakes. A special yeah. recipe of mine. <laughs> Delicious. Is it orange? No, derange. A fruit from Venus. I put it in all my cakes. Sorry, Mom, but none of us should be leaving our stations right now. The animatronics are lurking in this sector. We're the animatronics, and we're lurking in this sector. Oh, yes, of course. I understand, darling. I'll be on my way now. You all obviously didn't hear what I said. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. See you soon, my chair. Take care of yourself now and don't go too fast. The animatronics are at large, Mrs. Clark. You shouldn't leave without an escort car. I'll be just fine, my dear. But, Mom, I insist it's dangerous and... No, I insist! When I say no, I mean no! Is that clear, young man? Uh, yes, Mom. Uh, oh, I, I mean, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I apologize for my mother's remarks, Kitty. Oh, that's okay, Commander. I sometimes do wonder why you don't have a girlfriend. Uh, I, uh, uh, I mean, I don't know, I, uh... Commander, an animatronic ship has been spotted in the sector. Oh, no, I haven't finished my cake yet. Bones alive! Go get my mother! She mustn't be allowed to take off! Too late, Commander. She's already left. <gasps> Should we open fire, Commander? No, it's too risky. We might hit her by mistake. Clark! Rexier, we've got your mother! Sorry about that, sweetie! <laughs> Here's the deal. We'll give your mother back in exchange for the Ark and its crew. You're a scoundrel, Rex! Thanks. So, either you agree to it, or we'll throw your mom into space! Okay, okay, I agree. <laughs> Good boy. You made the right choice, Commander. With a bit of luck, she may still have some cakes left. Clark, you'll never get in my way again. Before long, the whole galaxy will be, uh, uh, it will be 
uh, uh, uh. Ah, yes. Soon the galaxy will be under the reign of metal. It's all my fault. Don't worry, Mom. We'll get it back. Lock him up. I'm staying here. Lock me up with them. This is it. The animatronics have got us this time. Yuck! I bet they're gonna put oil everywhere. It's disgusting. We've been here forever. The days have rolled into weeks, the weeks into months. Will we ever be free again someday? What? We've only been here for three minutes. Oh, is that all? All is not lost. If someone could get into the control room, we could cancel the ship's gravitational field. Hmm. What? Gravity is a force which maintains all objects on the ground. It's caused by the presence of large bodies such as the Earth. This phenomenon doesn't exist in space. It's gravity which stops us from floating into the air. Oh. And? And there's a good chance that animatronics, robots, and weightlessness do not mix well together. <laughs> Great idea, Kong. But there's no Whoa. way any of us could get past the animatronics to get to the control room. I could. No, it's too dangerous. I demand to see General Rex immediately! State your reasons! No questions asked! Just obey! I'm old enough to be your mother, you know! What are you doing here? I've changed my mind, General. I want to leave. Really? Well, I've changed my mind, too! What? We need someone on board to do the ironing and keep our nuts and bolts nicely oiled! Mm -hmm. Are you fiend? Hang on, everyone. <laughs> she did it! Way to go, Mom! Well done! Yay! <laughs> Take care of the guards, Kitty, while I go and help Mom. <laughs> We've got a problem, General. You're the problem, you big pile of rust! <laughs> you and I are gonna take a nice long journey to face together! Here I come, Mom! Rex, let go of my mommy! I mean my mother, right now! No way, Jerry! Come on, you've got a mother too. No, I haven't. I'm a robot. All right, General. You asked for it. <laughs> I'll get you, you. Thank you, my cherub. You're welcome, Mom. Okay, now. Do you think Amanda Clark's going to succeed? I'd say so, yes. Sorry, I finally come to terms with the fact that you're not a puppy anymore. You're a commander with responsibilities. I should have never bothered you here on your ship. No, without you, I would have probably never stood up to the animatronics. You're welcome here whenever you want. <laughs> <sighs> Got a whole gal- 
galaxy to explore and nothing will stand in our way. So, full speed ahead and... Commander! Yes, Jelly? Your father's just arrived on board the Ark. No! Sunday, 16th of March, 2072. This is Commander Clark, report number 478 for the attention of the International Federation. This is unacceptable, Lionel. There's a stain on this and... <laughs> Chicken and mustard sauce. <laughs> 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 It's no big deal, Foxy. It's only a little mustard. No big deal? What do you mean, no big deal? I think the word you're looking for is disastrous! This yellow doesn't go with the blue at all! There is nothing to report. End of report number 478 for the attention of the International Federation. No big deal! No big deal! No big deal! Hi, Lieutenant Foxy. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't mean to be a bother, but that soft, squidgy thing that just stepped on is my tail. Oh, sorry, Bob, I didn't see you there. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. General Rex, we have a problem. What? Bread of cheese biscuits? No, nothing that bad. We're just clean out of engine oil, that's all. <laughs> that's no big deal, Crocky. <laughs> I'm afraid it might be, General. We're all starting to get rusty. <laughs> Let's send the special commando! It's a commander's duty to show a good example. Hey! Great to have you back on post, Foxy. How about a little game of ball, huh? No, thank you. I don't want to get sweaty eyebrows, especially after putting on my wild strawberry fragrance for foxes. Commander Clark! Admiral Slurp, how are you doing? Very badly. I've just received an accounting report from Bob. The Ark is consuming way too much energy. As of today, I'm promoting Bob the Accountant to the rank of Chief Energy Controller. He'll be in charge of finding ways to reduce the ship's energy consumption. You're all going to have to start penny-pinching, chaps. Okay, has anyone here seen Bob? They don't respect me, they don't respect my work. Bob, on behalf of the International Federation, I hereby name you Big Chief Controller of Energy. Oh, I, 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 I'd be delighted. Officer Kitty, to save energy, I want you to bring the arc speed down three notches. Uh, ten notches. We need to save on energy. You found it! My ravioli! Oh, another hairdo bites the dust. <laughs> Stop! <gasps> Bats are forbidden. They waste way too much water. But that's so not fair! Besides, I only take eight baths a day. You'll just have to start taking showers. Cold ones, five second ones. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Time out. Get out of here.
You think that's funny? No! No, 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 no! It's not what you're thinking! Today's special, ravioli! Ravioli? For energy-saving purposes, the artificial gravity will be cut off several times a day. <laughs> you might want to warn us before you put the gravity back on, Bob. What in the... Now what? Lights will also be cut off whenever it's deemed necessary. These restrictions are unbearable. We had the most awful night. Flying and falling. Flying and falling. Sometimes in total darkness. I know, I know. But we have no choice but to obey Bob. He's only enforcing Admiral Slurp's orders. Let's look on the bright side. At least there's nothing else Bob can forbid us to do. Ravioli for energy saving purposes. Switch on the holographic camouflage. Where have they all gone? There aren't even any guys. You. Yo. Sorry? Oh, he was just saying, do not panic. This is a kidnapping. Yeah, a kidnapping. No. <laughs> Let's not get too excited. There's got to be a solution to this crisis. I totally agree. For example, we could leave Bob on a planet inhabited by savage animals that have a particular liking for accounting. Yeah! Commander Clark! <laughs> we have your garbage man. Accountant? Yeah, right, whatever. Anyway, if you don't want to give us at least one medium can of engine oil, we'll throw him into space! <laughs> Good idea! Yeah! Yeah! Hello, fellas. What is the temperature in space, you ask? If you go outside a spaceship without wearing any equipment, make sure you're wearing a sweater. Space is a pretty cold place, about minus 270 degrees in the shade. Yeah! Yeah! Dear crew members, the enemy has one of ours. Are we just gonna turn our backs on him and leave him there? Uh, yeah. Let's throw him into the void. Good riddance to him! Mm, excuse me, General, but I've just had an idea. I'm sure I can use my extensive accounting experience to help you and your crew economize on your oil consumption. <laughs> Then you wouldn't need to ask for a ransom anymore, and you could just, well, uh, let me go. Wonderful! We'll economize on the oil and demand a ransom. Let's be reasonable here. If Admiral Slurp finds out that you left an accountant from the International Federation in the hands of the animatronics, he'll make you do an apprenticeship in accounting. Commander, I will personally volunteer to go and rescue Bob, our common friend. Thank you, gentlemen. I really appreciate your devotion. There's a very easy way to save your precious oil. Just always move very slowly and only pronounce half of your words. It board start chin. Good. Yeah, what are you say? Well done. Intruders boarding starboard general. Surrender, Rex! What? He means not on your life. Ah, okay. 
You've asked for it, you rusty old can. Free the accountant or we bubble you. Fair panic! Ah! Faster, you bunch of idiots! Attack! What? Bananas? I'm afraid that for budget-saving purposes, guns have been replaced by overripe bananas. <laughs> You're done for! Ah! Let's take off! but I have something I'd like to say. Uh, thank you. Yippee! I order that a crazy party be thrown to celebrate. Yeah! You can have a party, but without music or laughter, the cost of my rescue was way too expensive. Huh? <laughs> I'll leave joking. Accountants have a sense of humor, too, you know. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> My nose? Shiny. And my ears? Nice and straight. It looks to me like you're ready to welcome our visitor, Commander. What an honor. I still can't believe Professor Ping has agreed to come and visit us on the Ark. Ping isn't the only scientist in the galaxy, you know. Are you jealous, Kong? Me? Jealous of that old bird? You must be joking. Kong is jealous! Kong is jealous! Kong is jealous! Kong is jealous. Kong is Commander Clark, I'd like you to meet Professor Ping. I am honored to welcome the most eminent scientist of the galaxy, Professor. Thank you, Commander. I am... Oh, is that you, Little Kong? Do you know each other? Yes, Little Kong was my student. He was always sticking his fingers up his big nose, and he had a lot of trouble with his equations. That was a long time ago. Nowadays, I'm a great scientist like yourself, Professor. Professor Ping has just discovered an inhabited exoplanet. We're naming it after him. Bravo, Professor! 
an exoplanet or extrasolar planet. It... <laughs> Thank you, Sunny. Let me take over now. An exoplanet or extrasolar planet is a planet that orbits around another sun than the one we know. Some exoplanets are solid or liquid on the surface. Oh! for that brilliant explanation, Professor. Oh, it's a pleasure. I am the greatest scientist in the galaxy. I am as good as you now, you know, Professor. Who, you? Sonny, I don't think so. I do think so. And would you please stop calling me Sonny, you stuffed old coot? Oh, yes? What was that you said? Stuffed old coot? <laughs> <laughs> Your behavior is totally unscientific. I've made a decision. Whoever supplies an invention that simplifies life on board the Ark will be named Chief Scientist of the Federation. What on earth are they doing? I hereby present a revolutionary invention. The Nibbling Cruncho Cleaner. What in heaven's name is that? A product containing highly aggressive enzymes. It homes it on dirt and then destroys it without mercy. One little squirt is all it takes to clean a whole room. Demonstration. Your cleaning and dishwashing days are over. You're a genius, Professor. Mwah. I know. Thing won't be able to beat that. We shall soon see. Wow, a sheet. Wow, a wooden box. Yeah. I hereby present the great clone machine. Wow. wow. Commander, if you wouldn't mind. Hello, Commander Clark. I'm Commander Clark. You no longer need to work. The clones will do everything. Yay! This is an outstanding invention. You have one thing. I hereby name you Chief Scientist of the Federation. Poor Kong. I feel bad for him. But you have to admit, Ping's invention is totally awesome. I know! Thanks to him, I can indulge in my favorite hobby, hairstyling. But Sylvie doesn't have any hair. Just as well. She's my first client. Hey, that's Foxy's clone. How are you doing, uh, Foxy? Can't you see I'm busy here? These biceps need a workout. Oh. I do think it's possible to travel at the speed of light. How are you doing, guys? If you take into account the basic limitations of space and time, and you need the mathematical... These method. clones are weird. Kitty, there's something I've always wanted to tell you. You have stars deep down in your eyes. You've told me that 342 times, Commander. I know. But you really are the prettiest of galaxies. <sighs> I can't take this any longer. He's just so corny. Oh, really? Wow, what I would give for the Commander to talk to me like that just once. Excuse me, Commander. Uh, who's manning the Ark right now? No one. It's on automatic pilot mode. What are you doing? I'm taking control again. It's too dangerous to leave the ship on automatic in a zone like this. It's teeming with meteorites. I am in charge here, Clark. I am the commander of this ship, remember? No, this is my ship and I make all the decisions. We'll soon see about that. Is this the 
this what you're looking for? I'm not gonna let you lay down the law on my ship, Clark. In that case, you leave me no choice, Clark. Can you take your paw off my eye, please, Lino? That's not my paw, Elmer! That's Juan Carlos's horn! Thrown out of my very own ship. I just can't believe it. Well done for your invention, Professor Ping. You really have a knack for making clones. Ah, very funny. How was I supposed to know that they'd be even worse than the originals? Oh, no, please don't start that again. Uh, Commander, I may just have a solution, but you're going to have to get back to my lab. Whatever you say. I'll come with you, Commander. <laughs> Was a close one. Stay here. I'll go get Kong's clone out. Kong, the commander is asking for you in the control room. Uh, Clark, he only just left here. I think he said something about extra bananas. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Come in, Kong. Clark here. I'm inside your lab. Great. Now pour the liquid from the blue and yellow test tubes into the Cruncho cleaner and give it a good shake. What was all that about bananas, Kitty? Huh? <gasps> Ooh, Commander Clark. Uh, I, uh, I'm glad you came, Commander. I wanted to see you alone. Why, of course. Leave us alone, Kong. It... It took me a long time to come around, Commander, but I think I love you. That's wonderful, Kitty. You have stars in the bottom of your... Yes, I know, I know. Let's not waste any more time. Kiss me, Clark. Oh, Kitty, you make my heart melt. It works! The enzymes in Kong's modified product have become extremely powerful. Powerful enough to dissolve clones. That's great, Commander. Okay, Kitty, it's time we took this ship back again. Oh, no, you don't. Yoink belongs to us. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. I'm going to take my clones to Planet Ping and start a colony there. They can help me with all my experiments. Professor Kong, Professor Ping. Both of your inventions have proved equally useful. It is therefore with great honor that I hereby name both of you the greatest scientist in the Federation. Congratulations, Sonny. I'm sure that with a bit of luck, you two may become as good a scientist as I am. What? But I am just as good as you, you wicked old bird, you! Oh, shut up, you arrogant little ape! Oh, no. Here we go again. You rock! No! Not the table, Kong! The show is over. See you soon. Come on back. Commander Park. Commander Park.
Ooh, hey, what's wrong with Junior? He's got his Federation written exam coming up. It's just the usual last minute nerves. A little nervous energy is good. It'll give him a boost. I think that may be a little too much nervous energy. <laughs> what is Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Junior, and I'm all afraid of a silly exam paper. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I should have a commanderly chat with the poor boy. <laughs> there you are, Junior. You know, you really need to calm down. Calm down? How can I calm down when there are exams looming in front of me like a big, scary, looming thing? I haven't slept in weeks. I can't remember when I last ate. Two weeks even if my book. Mm, and you haven't washed for days. And now I'm in such a mess I can't even keep information in my head. Yesterday, I forgot how to use a spoon. Don't you worry, Junior. I'll get you back on track with the Surefire Commander Clark Learning Program. Yeah? When do we start? Well, you start with a shower. Uh -huh. We're learning in the gym? I find that the best way of learning facts is by linking them to karate moves. Uh -huh. Just watch. <clears throat> Jupiter's moons, you should know. Ganymede, Callisto, Europa, and Lou! Your turn. Uh, donut, uh, barley, uh, bowling ball. No, it's just not working for me. Where was the passion? Where was the fire? You have to treat those facts like they're enemies. Jupiter, Europa, Io. Now you're getting it. And this is how you steer the ship. Pull, pull, move to the left. Pull, pull, swing to the right. To start the engines, flick the flashing switch. A white dwarf is a tiny star. Yeah, yeah, hi, yeah. Okay, Junior, now you're ready for your exams. Exams? No! <laughs> Paper. <laughs> <laughs> With frightening questions on it. Leave me alone, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave him alone, guys. <laughs> Come on, Junior. It's just a piece of paper. <laughs> I'm sorry, Commander. I just can't face an exam ever. I'm just going to have to remain a loser for the rest of my life. It's such a pity. You know the information. If only there was another way to test you. Hmm, maybe there is. Commander, the computer's picking up something strange ahead. <laughs> it appears to be a cosmic storm. And we're heading right into it. The cosmic storms are disturbances in space. Usually caused by shockwaves sent by solar winds. They can cause dangerous and often strange side effects. Nobody's moving. <laughs> the cosmic storm! It's frozen everyone! Is this a trick? Are you going to make fun of me again? Nothing to do with us! Hey, with everyone frozen, we can have some fun! Yeah! <laughs> Eat 
desk and stop near the computer. It's a Federation rule. Then you better be carefully, right? Your eyebrows look like a spiky cactus. What? Maybe you're right, Clark. I need to groom. <laughs> Ta -da! I'm Leo and I'm a geeky goody t shoes. <laughs> I'm Juan Carlos, and I haven't washed for years. <laughs> I'm Kitty, and I'm Miss Bossy. I'd like to get kissy kissy with Commander Clark, but I'm too shy. <laughs> <laughs> Commander, start your plan before I scream. I'm on it, Kitty. <laughs> What's that noise? I thought we'd stop the fading thing. It's the emergency alarm, Noodle Brain. Look! The arc's heading towards those moons! Wakey, <laughs> wakey, Commander Black! We're going to crash! The arc's going to explode! Wake up! That's no good! They're frozen solid! <laughs> we're doomed! Just a minute. I could pilot the ship. Simus Junior, please! We'll never call you a scaredy cat again! Oh, uh, check the angles of objects ahead. You steer between them and keep your head. <gasps> Lionel, plot a safe path through the moons. Ah, Junior! Elmer, turn up the force field. I'm on it! To start the engines, flick the flashing switch. To start the engines, flick the flashing switch. I've got a safe path mapped out, Junior, and I've identified the moons encircling Jupiter. Jupiter's moons, you should know. Ganymede, Callisto, Europa, and Io. Wow, you really know your stuff, Junior. I hope so. Move to the left. Pull, pull, move to the right. You did it! We're safe! Yeah! yeah. 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 saved us all! And in doing so, he passed his Federation exam. We weren't really frozen. We just pretended to see if you had the skill to take command. Instead of a written exam, you had a practical test. Congratulations, Junior. You're a qualified Federation crewman. Huh? Then if you weren't really frozen, you saw... The ice cream, the farting, the silly dancing... You making fun of me? <laughs> laughed at me, a junior, for being scared. Foxy, you can take that stuff off now. Hmm. I like the look. It's now my proud duty to present you with your Federation Medal. 
<laughs> ah! Keep away! I'm scared of pins! Scared of anything pointy! <laughs> ah! no! <laughs> Is it just me or are teenagers getting weird? which isn't surprising considering she tastes everything she cooks. <laughs> <laughs> and have you ever smelled Kong's breath? Oh, don't remind me. It stinks of bananas. It's disgusting. Oh, and did you see that George has decided to grow a moustache? I know. He looks so cute now. In fact... <laughs> Can I see your badge? Here it is. Oh, this doesn't match. <laughs> Much better. Jelly, I've got a secret to tell you. I love secrets! Every evening, Commander Clark plays with his favourite stuffed toy. It's a sheep named Kiki. He can't sleep without it. Isn't that cute? That's so adorable! <laughs> hey, how'd you find that out? Because I... Uh, Oh, uh, well, I... You spy on Clark every night when he goes to bed. <laughs> Don't worry, Kitty. It's a secret. I won't tell anybody. Right. I've got to get to work now, Jelly. <laughs> hey, I've never seen this light come on before. I wonder if it means the meal's ready, or maybe it means the toilets are taken. That's the alarm button, Commander. Oh, yes, I knew that. I was just testing you. Ooh, that's a Klongen. Commander Clark, I need your help urgently. My ship has hit a meteorite. It's drifting into space as we speak. Hold on tight. The Ark will come to your rescue. <laughs> I want you to know I really hate me, me, me. needles. Yeah! <laughs> Just hearing the word makes me shiver. But Elmer, you're the only one on the ship who hasn't had the space flu vaccination. Uh, besides, it'll all be over in a jiffy. Yeah. Can't you just give me some juicy gossip instead? Mm. You always have something spicy to say about the crew. No, 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 no. I can't. I... <laughs> yes, I do. I have something very tasty to tell you concerning Commander Clark. Mm. But first, vaccination. <laughs> hey, everyone. You'll never guess what I found out about Commander Clark. <laughs> Thank you for saving us, Commander. Us? I was taking these tourists to Mars to climb up Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus is the biggest volcano in the universe. It stands 18 miles high, which is three times bigger than Mount Everest, the highest mountain on Earth. <laughs> That's even bigger than my emergency banana pile. Of course, that keeps getting smaller. Welcome to the Ark. I want you to feel at home here. I would, however, request that you stay in the areas that are set aside for you. And that's... <laughs> Foxy? 
Oh, what's so funny? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh, nothing, Commander. Uh, I'm not laughing. Well, I am, but... Uh, oh, oh, after all, why shouldn't you cuddle up to a stuffed little sheep named Kiki every night in bed? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know about that, Foxy? Everyone on the ship knows, Commander. It was Kitty who told us. She watches you every night when you go to bed. <laughs> Foxy, tell Kitty to come and see me. Ah, <laughs> uh, Commander, the crew members are asking for uniforms with more muttons. Oh, I mean buttons. And not in cotton, but in wool. Yeah, Bob, real funny. Ah, Kitty, you're gonna have to stop all this nighttime spying on me. I'm the laughing stock of the ship, thanks to you. Oh. Now everyone knows about my little Kiki. Oh, I, oh, uh, of course, Commander. Besides, why have you been watching me go to sleep? I, I have to go and help Kong to, to peel a bunch of bananas. Please excuse me, Commander. What? No! I didn't say anything to anyone, I swear! I can't believe you did a thing like that! You're not my friend anymore! <laughs> but I didn't say anything! You have to believe me! natural for you to want to take a photo of me. After all, you don't get the chance to see such a fine specimen as me every day. Mm. <laughs> However, I don't take kindly to you lollygagging around in my silk sheets and ostrich feather pillows. Get out of my room! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice one. 20 points. Ah! Wanna play? You get 10 points for the arms, 5 for the legs, and 30 for the helmet. <laughs> okay, who was that? <laughs> it was Kiki! <laughs> the Klongans are seriously misbehaving, Commander. They totally wrecked my bed. Well, I don't even dare tell you what they did to my banana plant. They've been playing darts on our spacesuits. And they had a food fight in the middle of the cafeteria. This has got to stop! Hmm, how come the Klongans are wandering around in parts of the ship where only crew are allowed? What's Jelly doing? <laughs> Commander, hmm? some Klongans have taken off in the shuttle. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kitty. Let's bring those mopeds back to the Ark by their pigtails. At your command, Commander. <laughs> Winning in the race with us, Commander? No, forget about the race. Bring these shuttles back to the ship at once. Well, that's a shame. We were having fun. Follow Kitty back to the ship now. Oh, all right. Commander, I'm ejecting. Roger, I'm gonna go and get that Klongan and bring him back. Oh, oh dear, my spacesuit's leaking. I'd better get back to the Ark and fast. Oh no, my jetpack is dead. 
Can't see colors. Which one is it? It's the third one from the left. Uh, we don't know how to count either. I don't believe this. It's the biggest button. Uh, all right. Ah, uh, yes, I see it. So if I press it, I'll be ejected into space. Is that right? Because uh, I don't actually have a spacesuit on, and I'm not sure if I. Oh, for fuck's sake! Push that button, or you're gonna blow up in three seconds. <laughs> had enough. I'm gonna ditch those Klongans on Mars as fast as possible. Wise decision, Commander. Where on Earth is Jelly? No! And don't let me catch you sleeping on the ship ever again! I'm sorry, Commander, for abandoning my post, but I'll never do it again, I promise. Don't worry, Jelly. These things happen. I think the Klongans have learned a lesson, too. Right. Let's get off to Mars. I'm sorry about what I said to you, Jelly. You'll always be my best friend. Uh, I have something to confess to you girls. I was the one who told everyone about Kitty's secret. What? <laughs> Jenny Fur? I can't believe you did that! I know, but I never imagined it could cause so much trouble. You're right about that. Besides, I just can't help it. I'm addicted to gossip. Actually, did you know that Bob the Accountant is in love with Janine the Ostrich? No. no. You, you must be joking. joking. <laughs> oh, no. Apparently, he even has flowers sent to her every morning, but she just eats them. Bob's tearing his hair out over it. 